Hello everybody, it is Shizado, and you know me, coming at you with episode 20 of the 8S series. And just a little heads up, I decided I'm going to skip the 10 minute races till the end. And, oh, we need to do Pelophony Digital Cup, which Sakuba, that, that, okay. So, I, what I remember is, what, is, oh, what does it say? A higher rate level race event exclusive for your unmodified standard cards because you'll be unable to tune your car. Finding something close to the top end of the performance point limit is key. Okay, so let's go find a car. <clears throat> so, car search. Dwindle it down to 500 once we get there. And we're going to go 470. So 98 cars. Yeah, I just turned my TV on, so... Yeah, I might do that. Um, let's see what's... What is interesting enough to drive? Um... Got the spear already, but that doesn't really behave well. Unless if you've got, you know, something. Yes, we need one. Oh! Right when I clicked it, decided, hey, color is going to be here. So we are going to go for a yellow one this time, because it's last time I used a red one. I think phone's being drunk. Yep, phone is being drunk, and that's a massive delay. <clears throat> so yeah, we have a super light sports car now. Don't have much in the lines of power, but we have a lots in the line of grip. And the lead is a Nissan GTR. What are the odds? Funny. Okay, that calls a restart. Thirteen sec, thirteen point nine seconds in, and we have to restart already. <laughs> I I feel sorry for you guys watching this, but I do not intend to do this. This is actually really nice to drive. Come on, let's see how it competes against this Aston. Not very well. But this 
powered by the same engine as the Suzuki Hayabusa. Which I'm not much of a motorcycle guy, but I really do like my Hayabusa. <clears throat> I, mean, I think I mean he's like Peregrine Falcon or something like that. So I'm expecting... I'm expecting times to be around the low one minute range. Probably sub minute range. GTR, GTR ain't gonna do shit. That GTR's got a lot more speed. So look at that, he just pulls away. But my superior weight and grit means I can just walk right or oh, just dive right on the inside. This is 30 performance points lower than that GTR. Yeah, that says a lot. <clears throat> but what this car can do around a, a short track like this. What's kind of interesting is I'm only using three gears for this. <laughs> Got a nice slide out there. When you push it really hard, it, the tail kicks out just a little bit. So it's enough to make you stay alert, but also not enough to, you know, make you worry too much. Like, this car doesn't go to snap over steer. That's, that's, that's probably one of its biggest qualities. It doesn't go to snap over steer. It just slowly goes there. <clears throat> Which makes this not only a much easier car to control, it also makes it, you know, more fun in a way, because... Because, see, look, tail kicks out just a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to keep it a second through these chicanes, because... Yeah, it is the bottom of the second gear, but... But this car does get out of corners fairly well. I know, it's not like your turbocharged four-wheel drive rally car kind of thing, where you can just power slide through. I swear, I'm probably going to pass someone. I don't know, I got the speed to lap someone. It's probably that Mitsubishi FTO. Enter the top of third gear. Slow down to mid third. And we're not gonna make it. Hey, but we did still get a decent lap at the end. And phone, you're being drunk again. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna lower the camera just a smidgen. So, on the race two. Which is in a place in Japan.
Ooh, here we go. Competition stepping up a little bit. Because we've got four vehicles within 10 performance points of 500. Oh, five, including me. I don't know what gear to start in, so I'm assuming second. Who makes a better track toy, Toyota or Suzuki? God damn. V8 powered Lotus Esprit. I'm going to keep it in the draft. underneath the Aspen as well. <laughs> what is up with me using Japanese cars on this particular track? Uh, what is up with this yellow steering wheel? This is a bumblebee. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not a yellow. It's not a bumblebee. It's... It's not gentle. And look at that Mercedes just fly off in the sunset. This is a yellow jacket. Because it's small, it's annoying as shit. Like, this is the issue is like, he's got more straight line speed, I could just dive into the corner right there. That's how I make my ground. He makes his ground by just overwhelming speed. It doesn't help with the motorcycle transmission either. Like I said, this thing doesn't like curves too much. So yeah, there's, this is a quick car, obviously. <clears throat> so we can just gotta see how it behaves in the third race, which is Trial Mountain. Like, why isn't this car real? Like, well, it is real, but why isn't it a production vehicle? Suzuki could have made lots of money with this kind of car. It also would have been a good rival to the Ariel Atom. Well, you know, until the Ariel Atom decided, hey, we're going to have 300 horsepower now.
I mean, this is still a spirit car, mind you. Like, this thing will have... This will... This thing will let you have fun. Oh my god, I let go of the wheel just for a moment to scratch my elbow. It wouldn't let me. But no, as spirited as this is, it does have superiors. But that should do it for the second race, and we're good on time here. I'm surprised. Now let's see if we can get, we could probably get into high 120s with uh, Trial Mountain. You know, just enjoying my uh, sandwich right now. It's a good sandwich. So let's see who's going to be in the lead for this one. Better be something freaking amazing, otherwise I'm just going to dominate. A GTR again? <clears throat> Challenge accepted. But we do have a Tommy Mac Evo in this, so there's that. Something different, at least. And also, there's a Golf GTI starting behind us, not in front of us. Like in the first race. Somebody's gonna get to hurt real bad. I'm just gonna dive on the inside of the Audi. That Nissan is annoying as shit. I hit it all three races. I'm just gonna go on the outside of everyone. And there's the Evo. Get out of the way, way Aston, because I'm faster than you through the corners. Same with you, M3. I got a good drive out of the corner. Hit about 140 on the straight, which is nice. Mind you, I was in the draft the entire time. There, dive on the inside of the GTR. Boot it out. He's probably going to try to overtake me. Because knowing he has more than double the power. Well, technically, I have a better power to rate, weight ratio. I think. I don't know. I could have a lower power to weight ratio. Okay, so that first lap was a 140. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, these are going to be sub-two-minute laps. And also because I was trying to overtake everyone. Ooh, hello. <laughs> so let's, see how, let's see how fast we can hit without the draft. So, 125. So about 130. That's not too bad. This has decent straight line speed, but you know it's not you know all that great compared to some of the vehicles in this.
but it does have lots of grip, which I this is that's one of my key traits in a vehicle. If it if it handles well, I will drive it. And this is one of those vehicles that handles beautifully. Let's see, I remember do driving my Dodge Viper around here at one point. And it did a 133 stock. This did a 134.2. Oh, 4. 134.4. 4. There we go. I, I, I did spin it. And this thing doesn't like getting the second very quickly. So I gotta remember that. But you can't, I can't add anything to it, because that would go against the, that would contradict against, uh, what the whole point of the Pussy Digital Cup is. So yeah. Yeah, I might keep it in third gear through the slower corners. Because the third gear, it doesn't start to kick the tail out to about 140 kilometers an hour. I, it doesn't it doesn't like kick out of there. But no, yeah. This would be really fun to own in real life. And, whew. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it in third through here. through here. I don't know, some of these corners have really weird properties. Like this one, it is... Yeah, it's just some of these corners are weird. Because not very many of them are... I don't think any of them are off camber. Whoa! That did not... My camera did not like that. So that was that was a thing. Ooh, it got twitchy. Yeah, that is, that is the thing with these kind of cars is that they get twitchy. It's not necessarily that they slide some of the time, like this one. Like this one's very well set up for stock vehicle. Let's see, look how dinky it is. It, 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 it's so dinky, it's got the taillights and the little rest guard things, so. Yeah, so we ended up with a 133.9. Nice! So that's gonna conclude this episode of uh, the A to S series. As I gave my 34,000. I'm thinking the next race. Wait, isn't the next championship the British Lightweights? If it is, I know exactly what I'm using. Just because of how ridiculous it is. Oh, it's a Dirt Trials. Okay. So, if that's going to be the case... I really want to do the Historic Racing Car Cup already. It just seems like a lot of fun to do. So, since the next one's going to be Dirt Trials, I'm going to skip the kart racing till the end after the 10 minute races so dirt trials is next okay and it's nice enough we already have a vehicle for that see look it only has 102 pound feet of torque and weighs 640 kilos so we already know what we need to strap into constrapulate impreza so, yeah, that's going to conclude this episode of 
you know, I already said that. So, you guys know what to do. And Shazado's out. Until next time. And as always, enjoy the drive.